the wall. First and foremost, we give all the praise to our glory to the Howard, our Shem, 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 our but the four corners of the earth, we want to show on to keep pushing. Okay, with the GMS line in St. Louis Camp, we keep coming in, we get, we got the problem side down for of America, aka Babylon 3. Right. And uh, you know, today's topic we're going to go on is uh, basically the, the new laws that's getting uh, passed in uh, Chicago, aka Chirac, or Chirac, whatever you want to call it. Alright? Because Oh, yeah, old Illinois. And really, that's going to be all throughout uh, 50 states. And they show you that in that movie, The Birds. And he starts basically uh, using these movies to show his agenda. All right? Everything that you thought was fiction is actually going to become a reality. Okay? Let's start off with that uh, Second Edges 15. Come on. Book of Second Edges, chapter 15, and verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Right, yeah, the words of prophecy. Prophesy means what to say before. Okay, because everything in this Bible is going to come to pass. But you still got my people talking about some, oh yeah, the Bible is false. The Bible is a right man book. I'm going uh, to go to the walls of Egypt and get the answers. No. Okay, Egyptology has never done anything for our people. It is, it, Egyptology just, just uh, made Joe vocabulary expand a little bit. All right, that's it. Go ahead. It says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Yeah, it says, for they are faithful and true. Read. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, said the Lord. Right, it says, uh, it says all the unfaithful shall die their own faithfulness. Okay, so anybody that don't believe 100 this book, all right, you gonna die. And it don't matter if we had a woman before the camera started going to talk about some uh, uh, Jesus lives forever. Alright? Jesus is like Jesus, so-called Jesus that be existed. Alright? You go into the history of that uh that painting, it goes back to a man named Cesare Queen. He was an Edomite. He was, uh, he did all type of, uh, he had sodomy and incest. Uh, the Borgias were the, the uh, prime family of Europe. Uh, okay. Brothers believe that, hey, the Rothschilds today are the seeds of family today. Yeah. I believe that too. Yeah. Because they was in rulership back then, they were rulership now. Right. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. And it says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. Right, I said wickedness has exceedingly polluted. Like something that's exceedingly, that means it's, it's overfull, overfilled. Okay? Uh, just seeing uh, uh, sodomites walk past it. Women dressing uh, naked, and those are all things that the Lord hates. All right, that's wickedness. A woman's supposed to be dressed in modest and pearl. A man not supposed to be wearing a damn dress. All right, wigs and nails. Uh, I, I, I'm a sheep. You gotta call me a sheep. Okay, go ahead. And that's why also in Revelation 18 it says that her sins have reached to the heavens. You know, yeah. That's spiritually and physically. And it said, Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and their souls are the just complain continually. We complain continually. You know, I ask the Lord, how long? You know, Lord, destroy this, destroy this place this year. Right. Yeah. Hey, because we can't wait till the Lord uh, start putting his foot up you uh eating his ass. And two-thirds of our own people, because you two-thirds to be to me. You even worse than matter of fact, it's not it's not even to me because the scripture says it first. The scriptures talk about 
the deeds of you, uh, you Israelites, you uh, niggas, man, that y'all surpass the deeds of the wicked, man. Y'all leave it worse. You know, the majority of people that you have uh, problems with on, on the jobs are who? Niggas. All right, nigga women, uh, niggas with dreads, whoever. <laughs> All right? Niggas with different colored hair and shit like that. All right? Keep going. Good. It says, <clears throat> Verse 9, and therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them. God. And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them to receive unto the need all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Yep. And Lord, he, he not gonna suffer us to keep dwelling here. The scripture says, What? No flesh shall be saved. Hey, if this shit, if this shit keep going on, all right, we all gonna die, all right? Uh, working and stressing out, cause uh, stress levels is at, is at an all time high, suicide at an all time high, all right? It seems like, you know, you, you talk to these people in the world, yeah, COVID changed everything. And yeah, we gonna go back to normal, no, it's never gonna go back to normal. And, uh, and people don't forget about the monkey box, you know? People say, uh, oh, forget that. Because, uh, believe it or not, they're going to lock some down again. Right. Okay. He, he didn't even have to do that right there. Right. Uh, verse 11, uh, verse 10. Beat, uh, but, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Read that part again. Be but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with the plagues as before. Right, and a mighty hand is uh, the chariot. Okay? You could have picture kind of messed up, but you get the point. The mighty hand is the chariot. Hey, right? this is going to be a sight to see men and women getting beamed up on what the world ignorantly calls UFOs or uh, what, UAP, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon okay, it's really the chariots, the wheels of the heavenly father that we got son alright, and, and the hope to heaven okay, I heard a nigga say, oh, why did God get a chariot? because he can, he can do whatever he wants to do Verse 12, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be spent with the plague and the punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. Yeah. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seeds shall fail through the blasting in hell and with a fearful constellation. Right, because uh, we in a worldwide famine, okay? Like every time you go into the supermarket, um, it's just less stuff on the shelves. Okay, and pretty soon those shelves is gonna be just flat out empty. All right, and you people, you ain't ready for that. You Americans, you're not ready for going days without eating. All right, so the first, the first 24 hours, you know, people gonna start committing cannibalism. All right, because it, it's not gonna take that long for you Americans to bug out because you so goddamn spoiled, used to having everything at your fingertips. Especially with these Gen Zs, man. That's right, having food. Um, you know, uh, Uber Eats, uh, Uber, Uber Eats, yeah, I, I just said yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, Uber Eats, um, what else, DoorDash, yeah, Grubhub, all this, these different apps, so you ain't even gotta do nothing, you just order it off the phone, alright? of vengeance that the Lord is going to send upon his planet and his family. You know, yeah. because the people are being spoiled like little badass kids, man. Yeah. So, hey, what do you think the Lord can do, man? Hey, he can starve a lot of these people out, man. One of the elect don't be able to be, able to be uh, satisfied in that day, man. You know? Because yeah. at the end of the day, you people then forgot who the Heavenly Father is, man. You know, who nourishes, especially you Israelites, man. You yeah. know, he the one that's feeding you, man. 
know, and you damn simple-minded ass niggas, you know, don't even recognize that and give thanks. So that's why the Lord got taken away, man. All right. different uh churches to shoot him up because uh that's like y'all because uh jake thought in the movie yeah we gonna go to the house of god and uh if you gonna be protected here man you sure came and kicked the door and shot all their ass <laughs> same, the same way how dylan roof shot those uh negroes that was in that church uh what, what, what was that i think that was it. yeah one of the carolinas you just gonna say something so, yeah, i was gonna say like hey man you know and a lot of that shit that, that's going to happen, man, hey, just know the government is going to be funding them to do it too, man. You know? Because, hey, at the end of the day, these high-end militia groups, man, just know that's the secret army that these uh, banker elites got, man. And they're going to send them over here. You know, who's one of them uh, secret, hey, the UN, the biggest one, man. You know? That's just a big-ass fucking um, uh, militia group, man. You know? And guess what they gonna be doing? When they over there in those foreign countries, man, they be raping the women, man. They be raping, killing, you know? You know, so hey, just expect them to be over here, the blue hats, man. Except this is uh, Psalms chapter 10 and it's referring to how, you know, we continually, you know, cry to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. It says, 
why, uh, Psalm chapter 10, it says, Why standest thou afar off, O Lord? Why hideth thou self in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in their in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasted of his heart, desire, and bless, blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorred. Right, and, and if I just cut, just cut you off just for a second. And so what is his own devices? Those nuclear missiles, okay? Because that's going to uh, basically backfire on you Edomites. It right, goes back to the famous quote by uh, Robin J. Oppenheimer, I've come to destroy the world. Guess what the scripture says? What? Uh, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So this word is going to get destroyed. Okay? Okay. That's yeah, it says, The wicked through the pride of his continents will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in his thoughts. His ways are grievous, thy judgments are far above out of his sight, as far all his enemies he puffeth up at him. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. Right, and that's what these people in America say, in the precept. That's what these people in America say. Because America is a country that has never had uh, an outside invader come in. Okay. Isaiah 47. Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, lift up the skirt. You know, because uh, the great whore of Babylon, she about to get ravaged. Right, so same. Yep. Yeah. Same, like, the same way how that uh, Levite's wife was ravished, ravished to death by those, uh, I think they was, uh, I think, think those Hamites. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Like yeah. Kind. Yeah, you right, uh, Belial. So kind. Hey, the same way. Okay? All sides to not one thing don't touch on this thing. Right. Go ahead. Kind. Verse uh, 16. For there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They should not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right, it said they should not regard their kings or their princes. They, they hated Donald Trump. He got an office. They, they brought in Joe Biden. All right, now they hate Biden. Now they, now they talk about some. Hey, bring back Trump. Okay, uh, Trump from 2023. And shit. Yeah, yeah, 2024. You know, if, if we make it to get that far, you know, I think Trump might get in office again. Because uh, because America is, de is declining, you know, we still got uh, gas prices. Gas prices is, is at an all-time high. All that, you know, fuck out ass Edomites, as you can see right here. Okay. Good. And it says a man should desire to go into a city and should not be able. Yeah. But because of their pride. The city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Right, it says because of their what? Because of their pride. Right, because of their pride. All right, and this is uh, one of the six things that the Lord hates. The Lord hates a proud look. And we got uh, a proud look. You Edomites, you so-called white people. All right, and uh, should have hate, especially two-thirds of our women, man. Good Lord, the damn, the damn busted, the most busted Israelite woman. She got more self-confidence than a pretty is right? Real? Which really is really fake. It's acting. Yeah, hey, that positivity bullshit, man. That shit not where it's at. Okay? But the same though, you were that background say the man shall be And it says, well, because of their pride, the city shall be in trouble, be troubled. The house shall be destroyed and man shall be afraid. Right, yeah. Men are afraid. What is that? What is that speak? To about the condition the women are going to be in. Yeah, y'all yeah. go down. I'm not going to jump on child chest. A lot of y'all go down just from fear. Right. You know, so yeah, he's going to give up. up. Yeah. He's going to give up, walk somewhere, and give up the ghost. <laughs> you know? 
So, you know, the, all these years prior to these things happening, you have made a bid for yourself to be not cared for in these times that are approaching. Because, uh, like that video we're talking about, man, with Cynthia G and uh, uh, Tammy and Dr. Moore and Juan, you women have responsibility your, your very own, your very protection. You side with the system and look down on a man that's going to be there or supposed to be there for you in the time you need uh, a cover. But you have abandoned your cover, you know, compare them to the oppressor, ridicule and, and mock them because it's not in the end. that you was in line. You gonna wish you was in order. You gonna wish you wasn't feminist, man. Cause that feminist shit is gonna bite you in the ass, man. Right. Yeah, you gonna, uh, scripture says every idle word. Right? Everything that you say, all the bullshit that you done spewed out, you gonna have to eat that bullshit. Cause, hey, days are coming, man, where you went ain't, hey, the, the, the Lord even said it, hey, the venture side failed, man. You ain't gonna be able to shop no more. You know, you ain't gonna be able to buy that fake ass hair no more. You ain't gonna be buying no fake ass nails no more. You know, because hey, we gonna see how these women really look without that shit, man. And a lot of a lot of you fucking women gonna look ugly as hell in that day, man. Nobody gonna want you, man. Yeah, yeah, Harry is here. I got a precept. This is uh Isaiah 32. Oh uh, yeah, I, I told everybody the whole thing. Oh okay, yeah. my bad. I'm so lucky, bro. So uh, like, yeah, yeah. Two thirteen. Uh, yeah, I was gonna start at the 10. Yeah, chapter 13. Yeah, 32 and 10, it says, uh, I'm sorry, you can start at uh, verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at it. Start at 1. Start at 1, okay. It's a lot, it's a lot. Nice and Okay. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and prince shall rule in judgment. Yep. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. And covert from the tempest. Right. And it uh, represents what? The destruction. Like the wind represents the uh, storm that's coming. Yep. Okay. So, like, yeah, that's kind. Yeah, like when it's a uh, storm, you do what? You run for cover. You know, run for shelter. And a man is going to be a hard place for you women, man. Because, hey, you women, hey, you can't do it by yourself. Right, I'm not going to be like, uh, the bitch off Hunger Games, man. Y'all gonna be yeah. scared as hell, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and uh, like you said, the bitches shall feel. He's already gonna have no public housing, and public sheltering, and all these uh, section big eight. fences. Right, there ain't gonna be no uh, section eight tents for you to duck and hide in. It's gonna be out here. Yeah, your yeah. safety is gonna depend on whatever man you around. Right. What's that scripture that say that, uh, the teats are gonna fail or something like that. Um, the, the, the benches shall fail? No. It's in that chapter. It's in this chapter? Yeah, it's in that chapter. It says, uh, rise up the women that are ease, I think. It's yeah, 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 it's further down, yeah. Yeah, we going to think they gonna be buffy the vampires sitting in that day, man. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen, man. You know, they, the Lord gonna show y'all who the hell you supposed to be under, man. Okay? Because hey. you women ain't gonna be able to fight a man. You know how much stronger a man is than a damn woman? Especially when he out of his fucking mind, bro. Man, like, you, know, you don't stand a chance. Hey, and, and, and some of these women, like they're seen from Minnesota Society, they crack in, and, 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 and that's how they gonna be. Okay? Hey, if you don't want you, shit. It's gonna be your ass. Keep going. Right, right. So like this. Um, Verse 2. Yeah, verse 2. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. 
as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Right, he says, uh, as rivers of waters in a dry place. Now you've been walking through the damn desert for hours and hours and hours, maybe days. When you see that water, you like, oh, oh, thank God. You know, you drink that water, okay? That, and that's how a man gonna be. All right, but a lot of you gonna be, you just gonna get rejected, go ahead. Okay. And the eyes of them that see shall not be dim. And the ears of them that hear shall not, sh uh, so like you. And the ears of them that hear shall hearken. Yeah. Keep, keep going. Okay. All, all what he done. Right. The heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammer shall be ready to speak plainly. The vile person shall be no more called liberal, nor the churl <laughs> shall be bountiful. Yeah, because you got what you call in America uh, a liberal, okay? Like, liberal goes back to liberty, which means what? Free. Okay, what are you free to do? Wickedness. All right, these women that said today, liberals, they what? They support uh, so-called women's rights, uh, yeah, fe uh, feminism, uh, Roe versus Wade. They was mad as hell when they got overturned. Okay, which is basically a murder. Abortion is murder. Okay, what you mean the baby don't got a damn heartbeat? And, and as soon as that sperm is uh, fertilized, that's like it. As soon as that egg is fertilized, that is a uh, that is a child. Like sperm is already alive. Right, right. For real, for real. Okay, if you want to get technical, it is not in baby form yet. Keep right. going. All right. For the vile person will speak villainy, and and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter errors against Yahweh to make empty the souls of the hungry and will cause the drink of the thirsty to fall. Right. To so, fail. Yeah, yeah so to, uh, to utter errors against the Most High. Because hey, hey, a lot of our women, they, they don't really uh, follow the scriptures. Okay, right. even these women that's in these uh, churches, man. Okay, because from, from Genesis the third chapter, slow ass children. From Genesis the third chapter, it talk about uh, uh, a man supposed to rule over his woman. Okay, but when you read it to, to these uh, Christians, they cringe up because uh, they pretty much admitted that the Most High, and the Most High said that. Oh. Right. The instruments also of the churl are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when he even even when the needy speaketh right. Yep. But the liberal devises liberal things and the and by liberal things shall he stand. Yep. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice. Ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech many days and years shall you be troubled right. ye careless women for the vintage shall fail right. it says yeah many days and years okay shall you be troubled and these women that's uh that's quote unquote going out and living their best life they miserable as hell okay that's why they gotta post these certain pictures and get these likes from these simps to feel good about themselves okay and um Hey, the Lord, he, the Lord, like these people, they don't really even live a lifestyle. It's really just a death style. Because how these people live, it all leads to death. Um, nothing good can come out of whores. Nothing good can come out of sodomites. Nothing good can come out of niggas. Or none of that. All right? It all leads to death. You know? It says, uh, many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. All right, so yeah, the vintage, that represents what? This system. And right, we got a, um, a vintage, okay? I think vintage means like a, basically like a garden, okay? And if, if, if that, if, if that fail, there, there, there is no uh, food source, okay? And it, and it represents this system. This system, this system is gonna fail, okay? It says, uh, tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled. 
ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Right, see all, all the goodies that's uh, pushed out there from you saw eating the so-called white man. Um, that's gonna be stripped from you. You're gonna basically be naked. All right, metaphorically speaking. You know, you're gonna be vulnerable. Like when you're naked, you're embarrassed and vulnerable. That's what y'all are gonna be. You're not, you're not gonna be proud with your nose in the air. And acting like you guys give to man. They can't nobody touch you. All right? Everybody gonna get a piece of you in that day. Everybody. The only women that's gonna be saved from that is the women that the Lord ordained to be saved. Yep. But at the end of the day, man, Hey, we, we, we speaking about it now. Hey, but when it happens, man, it's gonna be way worse than how we describe it, man. You know? Because at the end of the day, man, this is a warning message, man. Okay, this is a pro this, this is a prophesying to our people to understand, like, man, look, this shit is going to be reality, man. Okay? Because, hey, they, 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 these things that's going to happen, man, is gonna be happening on a high, rapid rate, man. And literally, that's why they already implementing the rules now not to be responding to those calls, man. Because guess what? They already know, like, hey, if we don't act, if we don't act on these, if we don't push these rules now, we already know once it get bad, it's gonna be too many 911 calls, and the cops not gonna be responding to every single one. So they just like, fuck it. We ain't gonna respond to none of them. Just you like you're saying, excuse me, just like you're saying, chapter 10, the gathering shall not come. Verse 10, I'm sorry. In verse 10, it said, the gathering shall not come. Yep. You know? And uh, let me get to uh, uh, verse 12. They shall, and this is scripture I was talking about, they shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. I mean, you ain't get no more EBT, no more WIC, none of that. No more child support, all that gonna be gone. Section 8. Section 8, you know what I mean? All that's gone. Benefits from uh from your your uh baby daddy Esau, you know? that's all gonna go out the window, man. You know you ain't gonna have those benefits in that day, man. It's gonna be for your you gonna have to be out there for yourself now. And guess what? When that happens, that's when you gonna want to crawl underneath a man. It ain't gonna work out for you. of their pride and the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation behold said Yahweh, i will call together all the kings of the earth and reverence me which are from the rise of the sun from the south from the east and living us to turn themselves one another, one another pay the things that they have done to them. Like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, so will I do also and recompense in their bosom. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, my right hand shall not spare the sinners, and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. The fire is going forth from his wrath, and, the and that consumed the foundations of the earth, and the sinners like the straw that is kindled. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children from the power that found not my sanctuary. Right, and that's talking about two-thirds of the nation of Israel. Okay? 
because uh, they not keeping the laws that's given to the best of their ability. Okay, and center is somebody that break God's laws. Okay? Because, yeah, you might not think it's a big deal, but if you uh, eating pork, like something as simple as eating pork, which that's simple, but that's what? That's still breaking God's laws. That still defiles your temple. Okay? You're not going to be in a good case. You're not going to be on the Lord's good side when you come back. Right? You're not going to be protected. Okay? And eating pork, hey, that's a small thing. But our people still want to do it. They still want to uh, have the lust of the flesh and then wonder why they got all these different health problems. You know? And a lot of you women, you're going to lose a lot of weight in that day. Because uh, you're not disciplined enough to put the damn pork down and, uh, you know, or go on a fast or water fast, whatever, or even eat healthy. Okay, you, you're going to drop 30 pounds in like a week. You know? It's like when, when you don't have food in your body, your body just go into like a yeah, starvation mode. So it starts to basically self destruct Start taking um, fat, so like it get all the nutrients from from the fat that's in the body, and then once that gone, then it start taking nu uh, nutrients from uh, from like your organs to preserve it, to preserve itself. Yeah. Right. Uh, verse twenty seven. But now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. For Yahweh shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against me. Behold, an horrible vision and appearance thereof from the east, where the where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out. That, with, that was it. On that. Okay. Sorry, we was bringing out, uh, you know, men with your precious, you know, to find gold, not just. Uh, any man, you know, the man of the heavenly father, the man that understands uh, what's going on and what's on me, and the men that have been making them sacrifices to uh, learn, man, and to discover the same thing all the time, uh, and those dudes that call over the man of the world. Right, this is uh, Proverbs 18, uh, chapter 2, I mean, chapter 18, verse 2. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous running into it and is safe. And, you know, you have been in the house of power that have been proclaiming the name of the Lord and His Son, Yahweh, or Yahweh Shah. And people still want to call on this. But those are the people that the Lord goes to the man.
telling a woman, you should be more brave, you should be more assertive. Right? You should be more courageous, man. man sit your ass down. Man, yeah, you gotta be in touch with your feminine side. You gotta be softer, soft spoken, don't raise your voice, don't don't yell. Okay? And that's the total opposite of what the scripture says. Alright. Right. Um, and it tells me you got that uh I, I told I was trying to get it, but I was trying to bring like four five scriptures. <laughs> uh, get that uh Isaiah 42 when you start at 13. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 42, starting in verse 13, and it reads, The Lord, Yahweh, shall go forth as a mighty man. Uh -huh. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. That's right. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. Yeah. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Uh -huh. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. Right, so the Lord said, hey, I don't refrain myself. I done suffered you long enough, but now I'm a cry like a travail of one. You know? I would destroy and devour at once. Right, and that's them uh, battle cries. You seen uh, 300, you know, the roaring and slicing and dicing. That's what the Lord's gonna do. Okay, to uh, you people. Uh, run that last part back again. Uh, verse 14. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. Right, the Lord said you're gonna destroy and devour. Okay, and that's what the Lord is uh, coming back to do. It's, it's not gonna be uh, peace. The Lord said he coming for a sword, he not coming for peace. He not coming to meet you as a man, all right? He gonna meet you as a uh, angelic force, all right? In his ranks, see? Yep, yep. This is uh, this is uh, Revelations 18 and 17. For in one hour, so great riches has come to naught, and every shipmaster, and all the company of ships and sailors, as in many as trade by sea, stood afar off. Yes, so it says in uh, one hour, it's 60 minutes. First, it's the, uh, the uh, torturing process. <laughs> but the Lord gonna have to break all you people down first. You gonna have to break your uh, pride into powder. All right, before you just just clip you all together. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The second edge is chapter nine, verse one, and it says, "He answered me then and said." Measure thou, time, measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he had met, which he made. Right. So the scripture said you got to measure the time diligently. You know, you talk to these Christians. Ah, oh, well, it might be another thousand years to be here. Like, ah, uh, you don't know that. Like, you not watching. You're not watching, neither do you care. And neither do you even want it to happen in the first place. Okay? You don't want it to happen because you you still gotta go and get that degree. You still gotta, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna open up a business next year. Uh, yeah, uh, God gave me this revelation that I, I'm gonna be a millionaire by the time I'm 65. It ain't happening. Revelation or a dream, they just know the Lord said, hey, dreams lift up fools, man. Especially if they not sent from the Heavenly Father, man. You know? Because at the end of the day, you people that got that 20 year plan from here or not, man, this place ain't gonna be here 20 years from now, man. You know? We said, well, we hoping to get the hell up out of here before then, man. You know? 
Right. It says, yeah, uh, unrighteous decree. That's an unrighteous decree. Hey, those are uh, criminals. Cause they said, what, second degree murder, too? Yeah. Hey, because those are uh, criminals. All right. This is a righteous system. I like the so called white man claims that he's so righteous and that he's God and all that. The angels white. <laughs> and, uh, the Heavenly Father's son is white. Uh, he white and all that. Then he would execute judgment. All right. Because, like, those people. They supposed to be put to death. Like if you murder somebody, you got you gotta get killed. Okay? Et cetera, et cetera. You see how uh you try to save and uh trans transforming the perpetual the pretrial detention system to low income people or go behind bars while only the wealthy walk free. All right, so that's you state right there that it's a loophole for the wealthy to walk free and get in, you know, and get back out on the streets and not have to sit behind bars. Yeah, hey, and that's my point. Because if you do any type of wickedness, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, you should be either put to death or, if, like a lot of these Edomites, these uh, Fortune 500 companies, they be uh, scamming people, okay? And uh, tweaking the system so they can benefit them. You just supposed to get back, what, double? What you stole, and that's it. And then you can go yes, sir. This is uh, Sirach 12 and 10. And it reads, Never trust thine enemy, for like as I am rusty, so is his wickedness. Yep. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Right. So there's that old saying that. Whenever they pass a policy or so some kind of law, the devil is in the details. You know, when you zig, he zag. You know, going on. Uh, let's see here. Uh, go back to verse 11. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. Okay. Set him not by thee, lest when he has overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place, neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at that last remember my words and, and be pricked wherewith. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts. So this man is really a wild beast and you have to be careful of him with everything that he comes out with. You know, you can't trust him with shit, whether it be a law, whether it be a policy, whether it be fucking, yeah, any kind of old bullshit. If he's running his mouth, he's lying. That's automatic, you know? Yeah, every time he talk, it's, just, it's a fucking lie. All right, uh, if I can add to that, it was a sheriff one of the Illinois said, sheriffs that was uh, first or second. No, it's uh, Ecclesiastes. Yeah. That was saying they passed it at, 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 in the middle of the night. Right. With like 40 minutes to read right. it before it was going into, you know, uh, in, into uh, legislation. Right. Exactly. Uh, and uh, so he was he he was hot. So that right there, you having a lot of these uh, people in these positions of power that are not with this you know because they see they see ahead what it's going to bring and what mm -hmm. it's going to cause and yeah that's going that's going to make a lot of these uh sheriffs and deputies and police that's going to make a lot more stress on them so guess what's going to happen they're going to say man the hell with this and walk away from it like you see already you know they putting these uh uh police these police jobs on these in these sites, <laughs> you know, like they they desperate, man. Right. You know, this this place is hanging on by a thread. And that's 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 beautiful, man. Yeah. And that's how you know this place is done for because hey, remember people saying uh, defund the police, defund the police. Hey, not even happening. Not even looking at those rules. Same dumbasses. That chance for that shit, now y'all gonna be wishing the police was responding to your calls. You know, because hey, 
That's just not gonna happen in Illinois. It's gonna happen all over the uh, this damn country, man. Because um, let me tell you, brothers, check out that um uh, that radio channel, uh, oh, Liber uh, Liberty Talk, or wherever it was. And a guy said, "Hey, we starting to get a taste of what is what it feels like." The uh, he's basically said, "I'm gonna quote it the best I can." He said. But he's starting to, these people here in America are starting to get a taste of what it feels like to be in a third world country now. Yep. You know, how crazy shit goes over there. That's happened, it's gonna happen over here, man. You know? Mercy, I had a people around. Sad. I think that was a YouTube comment. A YouTube comment said that. I think they had said something else about how they turned it into a third world country. Uh, Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 3. A prudent man foreseeth the, foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Right. Hey, the, the, a prudent man, a wise man, foreseeth the evil. You know, we see the evil that's coming. We see the dangers that's coming. Okay? Because at the end of the day, that's what the Lord set up his man to do is to prophesy on the highways and byways do YouTube videos to let you people know the independent doom is coming. But at the end of the day, only a wise man will take heed and hide himself, man. You know, but the foolish, they gonna be destroyed, man. Cause they be like, oh man, I don't wanna hear that shit, man. I know I'm an Israelite, but don't even know what the hell's gonna come. Hey, that's the spirit, cause uh, like a few years back, like when your father from school came up, mm -hmm. I think, uh, uh, yeah, like the brother was uh, teaching. Ah, nah, nah. I don't know, but he was like, he was like a light skinned chick. Yeah. And, uh, he, and he was all like, yep, yeah, uh, brother Ryan, he was all like, hey, so what if I told you that I got the answer for everything that you ever wanted to know? He's like, oh, really? I'm gonna wait, y'all have a good one, though. Uh, you know, so he just walked off. So he's like, what? I'm gonna stop talking about the Hebrew stuff. What? Like, this word is it. This is this all you need to sustain you, man. This the record that they have no problem Shit, they might miss the first time and shit. Then they gotta do it again. <laughs> hey, shit. It ain't gonna be easy for y'all, man. Niggas <laughs> with uh, guns and shit. Hey, you gonna use all them shits, man. You gonna have to. Alright, since you talk about how much guns you got. And, uh, you know, because when you talk to a Jake, Hey man, uh, how did you get in that situation? I, I did this and this and this, but yeah, I got out of that shit though. My four five got me out. Oh, like bro, guy, the one that say, nah, bro, it was me. I got myself out of this. Shit. Nah, bro, the Lord got you out of that. But man, you deserve it. Your ass for something else. Yeah, that's the scary thing. Especially when you get taught the truth, and you still don't understand. Hey, this Lord got some worse coming for you, man. Shit. Proverbs 1, uh, 20, 20, yeah. Uh, hey, man, uh, 
question. Uh, second, second, second. Right. Hey, Jeremiah 30 tells you that, hey, why do I see men uh, holding their loins as a woman in travail, man? Have you, have you brothers ever heard a grown ass man scream like a fucking woman, bro? Oh, man, it's gonna be a lot of that, man. And hey, you gonna think it's a whole woman screaming. The whole time it's a, it's a grown ass man screaming. Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 2. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 2. And it says, Then shalt thou understand that it is the <clears throat> very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Everything's going on now, it's prophecy. The Lord got a hand in everything that goes on, whether it be good or evil. Okay? Keep going. Gone. And it says, <clears throat> verse five, for like as all that all so like for like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So the end is manifest. Now you you just straight up delusional if you think that if the possibility of it being another thousand years here, you just straight up delusional and you would deny it. Some local houses have been used for 
saying the change is necessary to improve the criminal justice system. However, Hanley says the law prohibits judges from considering each case on its own merits and applying the law accordingly. Now, right, like you mentioned, man, this is how Esau used that the slick ass tongue, man. They 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 considered this long before they put it into law, man, because they they, they understand what they're trying to uh, create a, a, a society of anarchy, man, so they can come with a new proposal to end the anarchy, which is, which will be the plan they wanted it to be the whole time, man. They have to, it's called order, ordo ab chaos, or order out of chaos. You know, and they'll use the situation to make chaos and then come with a solution but really the solution is what they just, they just wanted to flat out roll it out. It's like the, the, the total control. When they put these uh, uh, troops, boots on the ground, these tanks in the streets, and turn your neighborhoods into war zones, man. They wanted to lock you down anyway. Like in the gaming uh, world, you know, they every game now is a uh, battle royale. Man. Hey, that is all test run. They want to actually implement that shit, man. You know? Hey, hey, you gonna have to fight to survive, man. You know? destruction coming upon them as to travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. You know, so hey, 
they gonna tell you like, hey, ain't nothing gonna happen, man. Hey, everything gonna be under control. You can go cops on coming and stuff like that. Hey, that's when utter destruction gonna come, man. God bless y'all, Dad. Hope y'all have a fruitful, long lasting life. Y'all say it's gonna be alright. It's always some bullshit that come behind it, man. You know, that's why it says his words are smoother than oil. You know, it's like butter, man. You know, because hey, you know, when butter get high, it'll burn your ass, man. You know, so hey, it's, you can't trust shit this devil say, man. Times also the highest have planned beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the same pearls and shall and shall see my salvation in my land. Right, so uh, I'm gonna push you up there. So go ahead, escape, you have to escape by your works. Shall be preserved from said pearls and shall see my salvation in the land and within my borders. I, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case which, shall, which now have abused my ways and, and that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. They will dwell in torments, okay? If you weren't trying to hear this word, you had a uh, chance. Like when the Lord presented to you on a silver platter, okay? And uh, now, you're you, you gonna be scrambling for it, all right? It's like somebody offers you some food, you say, oh, I ain't hungry, I'm good. That, that, don't, that, don't look, that don't look that good to me. A few hours later, your stomach start growling, hey, where that food at? Like, nah, fuck it, it, it's gone now. You know? Like, damn, like, that stuff was smelling kind of good. You know, but, hey, it's too late. Instead, for such as in their life have received benefits mm. and have not known thee. Right, you yeah. received benefits, man. And they didn't, they didn't know the Lord. They thought that the Lord was all on their side because they was, uh, they, they had money. And a lot of these uh, entertainers, they think that God is still on their side. They done fucking sold their soul to Satan. All right, and they think that God didn't see that. But hey, you saw that shit. Go on. And it says, verse 11, and they had lost in my law while they had yet liberty. They loathed. Yeah, they uh, loathed my law. Hate it. Yeah, it means, means to hate. Yeah, they loathed my law. Yeah, they hate the law that's commandments that they have to be fathers. You know, uh, uh, two thirds do. Because hey, there's plenty of, it's plenty of uh, opportunities throughout the whole entire year. So yeah, to do your folly. If you want to go to a party or whatever, have a drink, there with a woman, that's fine. But the Lord got holy days that He's made separate for you to uh, follow. Guess what? That purifies and sanctifies you. Okay? Our people, our people don't want to hear that. Why? Because they want to establish their own righteousness. You know, they want to tell you what's, what the hell, how God's supposed to do it, how God's supposed to act. This is what God said. You know, it it it's not what did it be correct. The truth is against the grain. Uh, it says they had loved in my love 
while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it at the death by pain. That the same must know it at the death by pain, right. and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished when but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is and for whom the world is created. Yeah, for the righteous, which is uh, the elect, mm -hmm. because you was with the Heavenly Father from the beginning. With the Heavenly Father and the Son from the beginning. Somebody can pull that scripture for me. I think this is in uh, St. John. Uh, John 14, 15, 14. While y'all looking, I'll, uh, I'll read this precept. Oh, yeah. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 8. And it reads, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, so I can kingdom and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Shai. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the sea, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. See, so there again, we have another example of what the Lord is getting ready to do. And eventually, you know, all the fun and games are going to end. That's right. Okay, the Lord is sifting for his elect, and not one shall be left, but all you two-thirds, you're going to be destroyed. Yeah, hey, and he making it uncomfortable on, uh, on purpose. Right. So he can see who really down for him for that. Right. Hey, because it's, it's easy to say, yeah, you love God and this and that and the other when you got... Uh, prosperity but the Lord hey, he going he gonna make it so you're gonna have to rely on him okay where the society like the convenience in the society is gonna stop right all right you, you're gonna have to rely on how much you right uh, for, for any and everything and that's what makes this this that evil kingdom you yeah. know although it was way back when but now since Jake loved this place it's, it's synonymous you know it's just right. parallel Right. And uh, look, and that when the so-called white man said, yeah, uh, what you come with me if you want to live. Right. Uh, a lot of, a lot of our people will be like, oh, yeah, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, man. <laughs> nah. Like, that damn devil going to torture, uh, rape, murder, the shit out of you people, man. So you want to get yours first? Here's first. You get his first, go first. And the comment, like, I'm not sure if they were child about how they said they found Jesus' body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Most, of the, most of the brothers were kind of upset at that, like, it's a bit. Really, I'm glad they did that because we know what the scripture had to do this world. The scripture says that the time going to come where they're going to say, Lo, the Messiah is here, right. the Messiah is in the desert. They found him in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> So it's actually good. I'm like, good, I'm fulfilling prophecy. I'm here fucking with people. They're going to actually see people saying, look, the Messiah's over here. The Messiah's over there. So I was like, good. You know, a lot of brothers out of power. I'm like, that's a prophecy. That's a good thing. Go ahead, go ahead and teach that. You found the Lord over here. And he healed that. And I don't yeah, know. Man. Off yeah, the plane, take the body. Up with the chip. It's the shit. Yeah, man. You know, so that's like, that's how you know. Dumbass Christians gonna believe that shit. Like, y'all didn't read the scriptures when it right, said right. his body was took up. Right, he, was, he ascended, right. They just dug up the like Shang Tsung. Like, the fucking Lord, man. How dare y'all, man? What fucking got long as fucking girl on this shit? Shit like that. They just stink stabbed some holes in his hand. Look. <laughs> that shit. Like, because it's like, man, whiskers and shit. That was a preacher, man. Y'all know that. Whatever that was, man. Y'all literally took a random court to put holes in the hand, man. That shit is like, as hell. Man, that shit goofy as hell. Hey, that, that shit like, uh, you know, like December 24th. Yeah, we saw Santa Claus in the air. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, yeah. Hey, get ready for bed, kitties. You know? Oh, 
Nah, it ain't gonna happen like that. Lord said he wasn't gonna meet you as a man. Exactly. And, and that's so, and that's so, that speaks to the truth of these scriptures, man, because that, that, you can't get more specific than that, man. It's talking about in the western uh, desert in China. They say in the scriptures, they say, Lo, he in the desert, believe him not. Man. You know? Like, yeah. Like, the thing is, it's like, I'm still, it's like, how y'all gonna say this is the Lord? And you know, the scriptures put it bluntly and plainly what happened to his body, man. And he came back to life. Hey, that's not a lie, man. You know? See, hey, <laughs> they, yeah, the, the disciples even saw him, man. And when he got beamed up into the chariot, man, it's like, what the hell? Yeah. This devil was reaching, man. And, uh, and now, after that, if, if they knew where the Lord's body was at, man, he saw me right over there trying to dig it up and trying to study it and all that shit. Person fucking body right there, man. Yeah. The more body they got caught stealing this shit. <laughs> shit. Put the shit. Man, you got this is cruel, man. Man. Ishmael and chop off your hands and you stealing. Trying to eat. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Fucking throwing acid at women and shit. This shit gonna be going in, boy. Yeah. Damn. Ham up there circumcising women. <laughs> Sealing up their vaginas and shit, bro. Oh wow, well, they don't believe it happened. Women, children. They killed them. Now, now they over there running around. Uh, just hardly important, man. Where, where the women at? Bro, <laughs> so shit. Boy, that damn. They gonna hey, eat yeah, the that's shit. That's the dumbest thing that he does that. You know, man. Oh, we gonna get rid of the women, child. We gonna keep the dead. Jake had that custom where they, you know, they kissed each other cheek, you know, you know, now I don't know wrong shit, you know, but you know, just a cleaner. Man, this eat them like, man, I ain't gonna lie, this dude kissed him like on the cheek, like on some weird shit, like I'm talking about like you heard the shit, like he sucked on each cheek. I'm like, hey bro, you know, I'm eating this <laughs> What the hell, then I'm eating, he up here staring at me, like, hey bro, you gotta stop staring at me. This is uh, St. John chapter 15 and verse 27. Uh, I'll throw that to the sentence here. But when the Comforter is come, who I, who I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me, and he also shall bear witness, because he have been with me from the beginning. I want to see testify about the Father. That's what 
teach, you can teach in your how about Shem Yahweh Shem. Right? You know, and if you believe that with all sincerity and the truth, guess what? You very might be part of the elect. Now, if you're part of the elect, you just put the heavenly <clears throat> father from the beginning. Spirits. One of the spirits that help create everything that you see now. You know, from the uh, plants to trees, these uh, these bodies that we in, hey, all right, yeah. animals. He was there with you, how was y'all creating everything? And guess what? The other planets too. And we gonna have it. All right, I did a video on this uh, planet. It's basically like a water world. So like the whole planet is just water. Like the uh, planet off of, uh, have you ever seen the movie? Uh, into stuff and yeah, yeah, all so water for the yeah. Hey, the Lord got some stuff out of it, man. You know, and it's all for us in the herd. Shall I said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left one stone up upon another that shall not be thrown down. Jump it down. And Yahweh Shah answered, said unto you, said unto them, Take no take that no man, take heed that no man deceive you, but many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, but all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine, famine, famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. First, I'm gonna step down to verse 12. And because the iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So hey, these are all the things that's coming to pass, man. You know, seeing people getting killed in the most heinous and fucked up ways now. You know, now with them releasing and uh, prisoners and making the crimes, you know, uh, these violent crimes more lenient for the consequence. Yeah, man, the love gonna get waxed colder and colder, man. You gonna see how yo neighboring people really feel about it. You know, you're gonna see just the lack of compassion and respect people have for life, man. You could, uh, 